How much, how much turkey are you cutting up tonight? All of it. <laughs> we got about 800 pounds. 800 pounds. How many, how many batches of dressing are you making out like this tonight? Seven. How many pounds is that? Pounds, heavenly days. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> or should we? Is it, are you measuring it in tons or pounds? <laughs> but tons, it looks yeah. like tons. Don't it? We got 860 pounds of turkey, uh, 640 pounds of ham. We're doing probably about 500 pounds of stuffing, uh, mashed potatoes for uh, a couple hundred pounds of mashed potatoes, sweet potatoes, 10 cases of uh, corn and peas. I mean, uh, uh, string beans. Um, desserts, we packed up a little over 3,000 desserts to be delivered. Uh, we're planning on feeding 3,500 people. I'm sorry, it's, it's a lot of fun to me. Yeah. And you know, I, I deal with the same people for 12 years. We've been, you know, we have a good relationship. Uh, you know, obviously you want to help the community and do what you can, but you know, for my satisfaction, it's, it's, it's a lot of fun and it's, I get a good feeling. I work four days straight. When I go home Friday afternoon, I come back Friday and take everything down and clean this kitchen. Um, when I'm done Friday afternoon, and I go home, I got a smile on my face. For the dressing, we use uh, four pounds of butter, a bag and a half of onions, a bag of celery, um, poultry seasoning, sage, uh, poultry base, um, water, cornbread, biscuits, crumbled up. Um, this recipe was started with Karen Jones, Blaine Jones' sister, and we're carrying on her tradition of our coarse black pepper. Um, Lots of love. Karen um, started with Blaine Jones, the um, People Love and People Dinner. I think this is the 12th year. Her recipe is the stuffing. That was her expertise. And so um, she taught us the recipe, and she's no longer with us. And so she's in heaven with us, looking down on us. And, and we're sprinkling a lot of sage. That's what she always says. Make sure you put a lot of sage in it. So that's what we've been doing today. She's here in spirit. Yeah. Her dressing's here. Her dressing is here and it'll carry on for years. You and yes, everybody else has been here all night slicing turkeys and ham, making gravy, sweet potatoes, mashed potatoes, and vegetables. So now it's time to uh, start packing them up and getting them ready to deliver. We've got orders up into Virginia and Kingsport, and of course all around Hawkins County, over Morristown. Uh, so about 9.30 we'll have a driver's meeting and start sending meals out. Uh, at uh, around 11, people will start coming here to the cafeteria. Uh, that has been fancifully decorated for Thanksgiving, and we will uh, start serving in here. This is my first year. I had been looking for something to do like this for Thanksgiving. I'm from Gate City. Oh, are you? Oh, we got here this morning. That looks like it, yeah. What made you decide to do this? <laughs> I wanted to do something to help people because I'm thankful for what I have. How did you find out about, about Rogersville's Thanksgiving dinner? Um, it was in the Kingsport Times newspaper. Well, are you glad you did it? Absolutely. Yeah. Now, this is your 12th year. What, what keeps you coming back every year doing this? Uh, the, the neat thing is seeing everybody here volunteering their time. Uh, our community, people from uh, Kingsport, we've had people from Ohio, people from over in South Carolina come to work and give their time so uh, others can have a good Thanksgiving. So that's the neat thing, you know, and seeing all these desserts brought in. Every dessert that we're serving in these meals today are homemade. Somebody around here has made them and brought them in and we've cut them up and plated them. be the biggest one ever. Is this supposed to be? Well, we're preparing for it to be. You never know until the day of uh, how many how many will come out, but we were looking through the orders last night, and it looks like uh, the biggest stack of papers we've ever had. So. Yeah. Have you got any idea how many deliveries? No, it's usually in the range of 75, 80 percent of deliveries. Yeah. And then we get, you know, the 20, 25 percent of people that come in here and eat. So I expect to feed anywhere between 350 and 500 here in the hall, and then probably deliver uh, 3,000.